Logistics. We're now joined by the driver of number 34 Dockside Logistics Ford for Front Row Motorsports, uh, Michael McDowell. Thanks for joining us, Michael. We'll Thanks. Go ahead, Thanks for having me. Go ahead and open it up to questions. If you have one, please raise your hand and we'll get a mic over to you. We'll start right here with Lee in the front. Hi, Lee. Wonderful. Lee Spencer, RacingBoys.com. Um, everybody else, we're asking them about the package and how it feels to have the horsepower back. How was your first practice? Yeah, it was fun. Um, you know, we had the horsepower back, like you said, but a lot more downforce. And uh, you had to really push yourself to go that fast. Um, you know, you're just muscle memory and you're used to having some lift points and break points and you just had to really push yourself, at least I did, um, to get uh, that, that speed out of it. I mean, we're going around here so fast right now. Um, it was uh, it was fun. You know, I I was joking with my crew chief, Drew Blickensurfer. He, um, first run, I felt pretty balanced and then I looked at the speed and I saw I needed to pick up like a half second and I said, oh, oh it's not balanced now. <laughs> um, you know, when you got to push it that hard and take it to that next level, um, you know, it's it's fun that, to see if you can do it and push yourself to that, that point. Yeah, there's a ton of grip out there. Um, you know, obviously the, the downforce is a big part of that and, and cool temperatures this morning and, and cloud cover and all that. It's kind of like the perfect storm. Um, but, you know, as we get rubber on the racetrack and as the sun sits on it during the day here, you know, it, it'll definitely uh, get a little bit slick. Yeah. We'll go in the back with the red shirt. Hi, Devin Henry, Sports 360 AZ. Hey, how's it going? Good. How about you, man? Good. I think we talked earlier yeah. this year, right? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah man. see? I got a good memory. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. No. Uh, we talk about two questions, first of all. Uh, we talk about all the amenities here now for the fans. I want to know a little bit about you and your team. How has this change uh, uh, directly affected you and your team in the garage? Well, we have space now to jack up our car, which is nice. Um, you know, the old garages, you'd have to use a, a short jack because you'd be hitting the door of the guy next to you as you're trying to get your car up on scale. So. Um, just to be able to breathe a little bit and, and have all your equipment there and be able to uh, to work in a somewhat uh, controlled environment is nice. Uh, you know, and, and for me personally, I was always worried about knocking a fender off, getting in and getting out of your, your garage um, just because it was so tight. And, uh, yeah, so it's nice to have the space, and it's amazing, and um, it's really cool what they've done here at ISM Raceway. It's, it's pretty cool. And I know that you don't live here anymore, but is there anything when you come back to Arizona that you do that special or something different than you don't do on a regular race weekend? Yeah, Mexican food. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but East Coast Mexican food really is terrible. And so being from the West Coast and being from here, you know, that's the one thing I look forward to the most is coming back and getting some good Mexican food because you just don't get it in North Carolina. We'll go to Wolfgang here in the middle and then down here to Bob. My friend from Germany. Yeah, you have a good memory. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to go back to the first question with the added downforce. In principle, can you test it in a simulator before you go with a race car on the track? Yeah, right? yeah, so you can. Um, you know, Obviously, a lot of the manufacturers, all the manufacturers have simulations and simulators. So I was able to spend some time this week uh, getting prepared. But the thing about simulator that you still can't, duplicate is it, it doesn't hurt when you hit the wall um, so you're a lot more brave on the simulator than you are in real life um, the corners come up a lot quicker than they seem like in the simulator so um, you know it's a very helpful tool but uh, nothing is quite like being on the racetrack in the race car we'll go to Bob I'm Bob Pockers Fox Sports are the faster speeds because of more downforce or the different tire yeah, um, all the above. I think, you know, the downforce is a big part of it. I mean, it doesn't matter if we're at Martinsville. You still want more downforce. I mean, teams fight all day long to try to gain a few pounds of downforce, and, and we've stacked on a couple thousand. So we have a lot of, uh, of downforce now. And um, like I said, it, it was fun. It was I had to really challenge yourself just to break through that you don't have to slow down, it's going to stick. Um, and so the entry speeds are, are pretty significant. Are there any other questions, Chris? I'll wait for it. <laughs> Chris Catch Fence.com. Michael, um, I know you guys got started off the year on a good foot, but you guys have backed it up at 
Fien- or uh, land on Las Vegas with good qualifying runs, but even yeah. you haven't had the finishes you want. What's different at Front Row Motorsports that has allowed you guys to come out of box swinging with so much speed? Yeah, so um, like you said, we've had great speed, qualified well at Atlanta, qualified well at Vegas, um, got a car in the third round at, at both mile and a half, which is really impressive for our group and our organization. And um, I think it's a combination of, of a really good off season, expanding the three cars, which allowed us to hire some some great personnel, um, and then just building momentum from last year. Um, you know, at the end of last year, we are starting to sneak into that uh, you know low 20s, teens more consistently, and we were able to carry that momentum into um, you know into 2019. And and obviously, this rule package is. Um, is work to our favor um, for now, and you know that's the hardest part. Is the best teams are gonna develop the fastest, and so we just got to be able to keep up. You know, over this this next stretch of ten weeks, as those guys are are figuring things out, we got to stay right on them. Yeah. Go to Lee. Lee Spencer, you you mentioned Drew, and I saw the two of you conferring after the after practice, and. What is it about the two of you and the chemistry? It, it seems like you guys are, you know, just clicked right away. Yeah. So I have, um, I'll be careful how I say this because I don't want to be one of your sound clips for this week. Um, I have watched Drew from a distance for years and, um, and I've, I've pursued him with the last four. And, um, you know, I just knew that that's the kind of guy that I'm looking for personality wise, fire, spark, leadership. Um, he has all the things that I was looking for in a crew chief. Um, and so when, when the team decided to move Derek Finley, my, my last crew chief into the competition role, um, that's the first guy I asked for. And, uh, it looked like it wasn't going to work out. And, uh, you know, fortunately things came together for us kind of last minute and he's just got great leadership. And he's got a lot of fire, and um, and I like it. That's that's what I was looking for. Yep. All right. Are there any other questions? All right. Thanks, Michael. Good luck this weekend.